up? What's going on? We are back, and I just realized I'm halfway through the day here and realized I didn't get you give you guys a little intro as to what we're doing on this episode. Um, but as you can see here, we have the tailgate in the works. So um, what I did is uh, clamped and then ground down and welded this uh, whole edge and then spot welded along the, uh, the fold here once I got it all uh, hammered in and tacked in place. I have the uh, upper frame just kind of sitting here uh, as a placeholder for my dimensions. Figure that out for the uh, tailgate. But so far we are all cut up on the exterior. Um, I'm going to put two cross members just like our back here um, inside here and then we'll uh, we got a piece of sheet metal that'll go on the other side to obviously enclose it so that's what we're doing um, yeah it's about on two o'clock now in the afternoon I've uh, been at it most of the day here but uh, that's where we are and now we will continue I think I'm calling it for the day. It's, uh, I don't know, five, six o'clock in the afternoon. I've been doing this for like 10 hours now. Um, and I'm, I'm spent, pretty much, is the gist of it. Um, and I have to get up early tomorrow to go do some coyote hunting. Um, it's still real hot, but we're, new Fox Pro sounds just came out. Gotta, gotta put them to use, so. We're gonna do it. Um, what did I get done? Well, I already showed you. Um, we had the uh, front already squared away. Saw that. Um, didn't really do anything else to that. Mounted this up just to get it uh, so tested. Um, you can see all the kind of the uh, uh, voids in the weld there. Um, a lot of that's because of the uh, rust conditions. I just couldn't get in there to clean it up, and it's not a critical um, weld. I'm just looking for a clean edge so that I we're putting stuff in there um, it doesn't catch so um, that worked I also I don't know if you noticed but I ground these back to where they were kind of um, uh, I don't know beveled and then kind of filled that in with well just give it a little cleaner look uh, the bed liner and it's gonna um, more likely fill up a lot of the voids but um, then we have the uh, dun -dun -dun gate tongue gate so, um, just kind of spot welded all around and uh, throughout, like you can see uh, the inside there. Um, let's see here. Let me flip it over. All right, so that's what we got. Um, I was just going to do two center posts here, that, just like it is on the back side here, but it just didn't seem like it was, uh, that was really enough, you know, to frame that out properly. So. I did uh, three, so we had some good back and good support on the. Oh, now you can see me on the uh, tailgate here. Um, so when it's down, uh, you can put crap on it and not worry about the sheet metal um, bowings. All this sheet metal 
If I haven't said it before, is uh, 16 gauge sheet metal. Nothing crazy on there, um, but uh, should be stout enough. The sheet, the sheet itself is 16 or yeah, 16 gauge. I did 18 on the sheet that's going to go up here, um, and I also have over here some additional square tubing, and uh, those will go in between here, the 18 gauge. Um, I'd rather have a smaller gap between the supports there, as well as just general support on the, uh, the top here when it's bouncing down the room. So, uh, yeah, that's where we are. I'm still at the bullet level, I think, idea. Um, more I think about it, I don't, I, I don't like the idea that it's not removable, like the other uh, the backside there, but it is what it is. These things are supposed to be rated to like 500 pounds, so. Well, that's it. Appreciate you guys watching. I don't know if I'll keep a new episode going or we'll switch over to, um, or this episode going or we'll switch over to a new episode, but there you have it. I'm done for the day, regardless. Adios. Okay, I am back, and we're going to try and knock this uh, tongue gate out. <clears throat> Finally, knock it out. So... I uh, got it posted up here. Um, gonna finish off the end caps here and weld out a um, little more stitches on the inside here to make it a little more solid. And then we're going to <clears throat> figure out where exactly um, it mounts on here and get these uh, bullet hinges figured out and welded up. Um, I do have how I'm actually latching this thing all together as I have these, uh, what are they called? The stacko, you see that or not? Um, hinges, so this will go on top like so. This goes <clears throat> on the side. Let's see if we can. All right, so this goes something like this on here. Um, you then latch it over and it pulls tight. So I may need a um, lock of some kind in addition to this, but for now this will uh, should be good enough. It's a little overkill as far as the size goes, but uh, we don't want the thing opening up, right? All right, all right, all right. Well, what do you got? What well, looks to be the start of a uh, tailgate here. Got the ends um, closed up, went around and kind of sealed all of the um, spots that I found open on the tubes. Uh, and now we're gonna try and get this thing mounted up. So um, gonna try and kind of temporarily get some uh, wood to temporarily uh, match it at this elevation so I can kind of clamp it off and then uh, get my height perfect and then weld off the hinges. At least that's the uh, plan A. We'll see if that works out and uh, go from there. I'm gonna make sure I put a uh, slight standoff between the um, face here and the, the um, gate itself uh, for room for a, a gasket. So it doesn't bind down at the bottom. Um, not too much, but uh, enough to put a nice gasket in there. So, all right, onward. Of all the times to run out of welding wire. Well, we are <laughs> right here. 
I have uh, it tacked up on this side here and I went to tack it on this side and eh, that's as far as I got and it sputtered out. And now I gotta go to the store and grab some more. All right, we are back with a change of shirt and wire. Ace Hardware, got some porny, uh, I don't know, standard shit. So, <clears throat> let's proceed. Guess what? We got a working tailgate. And it works. Um, boom, shakalaka. Ta da! Lines up quite nice. Um, over here, if you can see, got a slight gap. There's probably a quarter inch gap at the bottom. Um, so I'll have to get a different gasket thickness for that. But um, along the sides, we're right about eighth inch or so. There's some fluctuation, obviously. But the thing is welded out with these bullet levels and operates very smoothly. Really not too bad on weight. <clears throat> I was thinking about doing a uh, like assisted tailgate. We'll see um, if we need that. Kind of conveniently, it also temporarily rests right on the uh, on the hitch underneath here on the sheet metal um, but gives you a good idea level wise where we're going to be sitting but that's going to wrap this uh, episode up um, it's getting windy outside and blowing all kinds of leaves and crap inside here so we're going to call that one an episode a wrap and uh, <clears throat> I'm going to see if I maybe I'll continue on maybe not um, but we're going to still have to get the uh, latches figured out, but honestly I can't get those done until I get the uh, cross members along here um, welded out and the sheet metal done. So that's the next step, but the uh, tailgate's on and I'm pretty freaking stoked about it. <coughs> Steps. It's a big step towards uh, getting this thing completed. So appreciate you guys watching. Adios.